Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through share the load, which was told or said by Judy Brady. Fine. Okay. So basically, from the name itself, we can say share the load. So some work should be shared. So it is nothing but the work that mothers do, guys. Basically. So basically, in every house, mothers or wife will be doing many works, right? So. We'll be discussing about all the works that they do, guys. Like daily, weekly, all those things we'll be discussing. Don't worry. Okay. So as we all know that there are n number of works or n numerous works of women or wife or mother do, which mostly men generally doesn't consider as a work. So whenever you are, you say someone that I do washing, I do cleaning, and all those things, do they consider, guys? When a woman says that, they will be saying that that is really simple work. You'll be just turning the switches. You'll be using vacuum cleaner, and they'll be saying like that, like those things, right? So that's not an easy work, guys. We'll be just thinking in that way, but it's not true. Okay. So generally in India, everyone considers that the women are meant to household works only. So basically, from the past, they used to say that women are just for house, and the men used to go outside and do many works, and they should earn money and bring it. So in that way, this they used to say. So I think that you may have. See in many advertisements that try to raise the issue of thoughtfulness manner. So whenever you observe the advertisements of washing powders or any kind of bulb, Havells bulb advertisement, so these advertisements says that the women and men are equal and they should share the load. So Havells and washing powder advertisements are the best examples. Okay, so all these advertisements they just want to say that share the load as a work should be shared among equally between the men and women. Our wife and husband, etc. So in that way, they should share. So now let us go through some of the daily activities that your mother or your wife is doing. So these are the daily activities, guys. Which I hope everyone knows these all things, guys. So daily household activities in the morning, they will be cleaning the front of your house and they'll be placing some mugu or anything like that. Okay. So they'll be collecting the milk packet and the newspaper, and they will be cleaning the remaining dishes which they didn't clean at the last night. And they will clean each and every room. They cut the vegetables. They will be boiling the milk. They will be cooking breakfast and preparing tea or coffee, and serves the serves those things to you. And they will be and your mother will be cooking lunch, and she will be packing the boxes. That is nothing but your lunch boxes for your college or your schools or your job. And she also cleans the rooms, and she will keep everything in an sorted order, guys. Okay. And she cleans all the rooms. Yo, that's what I. Sorry, that's what that's what I have repeated it again. So she she sorts all the clothes which need to be washed and which need which are done. So she will be arranging them, and she also manages about the trash. She will be keeping it aside so that whenever someone the collector comes, he'll she'll be giving it. She'll be cleaning the bathrooms and the evening activities. So these are the few morning activities, guys. Okay. So now let us go through the evening activities. So once the children are back to home, she will be helping them in the homework, okay. And she will also start preparing the dinner, guys, okay. And she collects all the dried clothes, guys. So basically, she washed the clothes morning and she kept them for dry. So now, once they are dried, she will be folding them and she will be sorting them for ironing. So basically, your father's. Dresses will be ironed, or your dresses when you are going somewhere, they will be ironed, right? So those are kept aside and they are ready for iron. So they they will be done for ironing and all those things will be done and the rest clo and all the clothes will be kept in the cupboards, okay? And then she will be planning for the next day meal as she already prepared the dinner. So she will be thinking of the next day meal what what she want to prepare and she will be thinking of what are the necessary things. So what are the weekly activities, guys? So weekly activities, she'll be cleaning each and every room properly, guys. So cleaning each and every room properly with mop or vacuum. So using any of this, she'll be keep cleaning like bedroom, bathrooms, stairs, balcony, living room, and kitchen. Okay. So what are the few other things that she will be doing? Is nothing but she will be checking for snacks status, guys, or food status. So basically, you will be having many kind of food items which you will be preparing, guys. Right. So you need to have some ingredients, right? So all those ingredients she will be checking once a while, so that whether they are available, whether we need to buy them, like that she will be checking. So she will be checking the stock, and she will also prepare a shopping list, so that it will be easy for you to bring them. Fine. Okay. There are 
these are the few activities done by the women but these should be shared equally so we have listed only few guys so basically if you just observe one day your mother guys what she is doing like step by step you observe what she is doing that's it that's the answer of this whole topic guys okay so the best example that both men and women are equal is nothing but indira i hope everyone heard about her so basically she is the first indian women ceo of pepsico guys so these kind of few things says that the men and women are equal so i hope everyone got a small idea on this topic share the load thank you thanks for watching